Hello, everyone. Welcome to a tournament that I'll be playing. I'm going to be playing with uh, Aaron Jones, uh, R. Duran1216. That's him. Uh, he's a national champion from many years back and has been a friend in the bridge community for a very long time. We lived close together for a few years. Um, but now he's back out on the West Coast. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I haven't played a lot with him. I have played one or two of these in recent memory. And he seems to like putting me in six of a major redoubled. That's kind of where, as far as I know about it. Uh, so we'll see if he does that again today. Last time I made it. I think I'm overdue to go down on a contract, but okay. We get an alert from the tournament director. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a speed ball, so we have six rounds. Let's see how many boards we're playing. So that's three board rounds and 18 minutes, so six minutes a board. This is a little faster than a normal tournament. Uh, let's take a look at our opponent's cards. <clears throat> Alright, so partner opens no trump. I plan on just transferring to spades in some way, if I'm allowed to do that. So... And I'm gonna pass him in two spades. I only have three high card points, after all. So 5-3 and partner has at most 17 and east as a passed hand in the second seat. West is likely to have some decent values over here, but West might be a little too scared to come into this auction right now, which means I expect us to be able to buy it in two spades. It's a little scary for east to even balance in with something like a takeout double because we could be in a 5-2 fit and West holding something like four spades and three cards in every other suit might have nothing better to do than pass. So, good luck, partner. <clears throat> wow, wow, we have, so he has 15. Everyone in the field is going to be opening his hand. Um, a no trump. And, it looks like we've done pretty well. We found a nine card fit and we've been able to get out at a relatively low level. I like what he's doing here, leading the jack of spades. It kind of looks like maybe he's trying to take a finesse, you know, so West might be a little unlikely to pop up with the spade ace. But I have the feeling that we're now going to get a heart to the king and a club back roughed. Which is going to lead to us going down a trick. We'll see if that happens. I mean, East could try and play a heart back. Nope. Club comes back, roughed. Good defense by the opponents. But it does look like they probably had a good part score in hearts somehow. I would suspect that both of them have doubleton spades, which is the reason why they didn't enter into this auction. Either one of them with a singleton should probably be bidding. Okay, I, I expect us to get a pretty decent result there. I think a lot of Easts would balance in with a takeout double. Um, they might wind up in a diamond part score, but it looks like that also does pretty well for their side. Well, on to the next board. We have 13. Singleton King of Spades becomes a little better now that Partner has uh, opened spades. So I'm going to start with two clubs. Just a game force. I don't exactly know where our best contract is going to be. I'm also not certain that Aaron and I play two clubs could be a doubleton here. Um, Maybe he would expect me to do something like bid two diamonds with this hand. But one of the nice thing about things about two clubs is that 
it keeps the auction open. We can still find a diamond fit if he has diamonds. Three clubs by partner, and unfortunately after this two heart overcall. Now this is a little weird, because East did not open two hearts, but I don't really have a heart stopper. I, I mean, I, I really don't have a heart stopper. So I guess I'm going to bid three diamonds. <clears throat> it, you know, there, there could be, like three clubs might be our last positive score available to us. It, it's possible. I have fairly minimal game force. Um, but partner could still have a huge hand and it's very much anti-partnership to, um, to pass out when you're in a forcing auction like this. So I do have to bid three diamonds. It looks like we might be heading for five clubs. That's fine. Maybe partner has a stiff heart. Uh, <clears throat> but I kind of expect that this contract's gonna go down. I suppose we'll see though. Yep, yep, that feels about right. So we get a high heart lead. It is a little strange what's going on. I mean, this this two heart overcall, I guess we're about to find out what's going on in the heart suit. No, maybe not. It, it kind of feels like East has a four card heart suit is what I'm thinking. Um, with ace, king, queen, jack, fifth, I would have expected East to do something during the auction. Something different, at least. Um, <clears throat> so it, it really feels like East has maybe ace, king, queen, fourth. Uh, is there anything I really need to be concerned about? I can discard things on my spades, maybe. I'm gonna lead a club up to the king. West does, of course, win the ace. And let's try and pull trumps. Down one. Yeah, down one's about the best that we can do on this one. So kind of unfortunately, you know, I could have, uh, I could have escaped with a positive score by passing out um, three clubs. But again, kind of anti-partnership. Partner could have had a singleton heart and three diamonds on this deal, and then five clubs actually has play. So I'm not that upset that we reached five clubs. Also, we probably beat the pairs who end up in three no trump, because that contract's going to lose at least five heart tricks off the top, and then maybe the club ace as well. Okay. It's interesting that East actually did have ace, king, queen, jack, fifth parts. I kind of expected either one heart or two heart opening with that kind of hand. So here, I mean, I could make a negative double or I could just bid two hearts. I think I'm just gonna bid two hearts. I have 13 high card points. Once again, I have a fairly minimum game force opposite partner's opening bid. <clears throat> and I guess we'll see how the auction develops. I mean, if the opponents find a club fit, it could come three clubs pass, pass back to me. And then I would plan on reopening with a double. And I'd be very excited if partner passed because then we might be collecting 500. But two spades does not make me all that happy. I don't like the position of my spade king anymore. Um. <clears throat> All right, partner bids three clubs, uh, presumably showing a heart fit, but I kind of want to hear a little more about partner's hand. If partner does something like bid three spades at this point, or 
I, I'm not sure what I could get very excited about. I, I'm probably just bidding four hearts on my next at my next opportunity, but I am holding on to the Ace King of Diamonds. So maybe partner could hold a hand that looks like uh, Ace Doubleton of Spades, King Fourth of Hearts. Sure. Partner just drives to four hearts. That seems fine. I mean, it looks like he made something like a slam try, although maybe maybe he was just intending three clubs as some sort of game try in general, because two hearts is not necessarily game forcing in this auction. <clears throat> Four spades. Hmm. I mean, the Ace King of Diamonds are probably okay defensive cards, but I think I'm going to bid five hearts. It, it really feels like partner's short in spades, like very short. My king of spades is on side for them in a spade contract. And I just have a lot of support for partner's diamond suit as well. So I'm a little concerned four spades is actually making on this deal, even though we have all of these high cards. Any of partner's clubs can be hooked through him into West's club suit. All of my spades can be hooked into East's spade suit. Well, it looks like the opponents did the right thing by not pushing on to the five level. <clears throat> okay, how does this contract look? So I do get to ditch club on the king of spades, I think. And there was no diamond lead, so I'm hoping the diamond suit is going to split 3-2. It looks like East might have doubled with, say, the ace-king of hearts. I, I do have play for the contract, which is good. That's always a bonus when you get doubled in something. <laughs> um, but I guess we'll just see. Although it does kind of look like, despite me having play for this contract, maybe the opponents also were not making five or four spades. <clears throat> wow. East doubled with just the hard ace. Okay. All right, well, that is gonna be all of the trumps. I mean, there's still the ace of hearts out, but I now get to run my diamonds and ditch my black suit losers. <clears throat> East can rough in whenever they want, but that's gonna be the end of the hand. So five hearts doubled makes, which is Probably a pretty good result. What were we getting against four spades, though? We have two spade tricks, a club trick, and two diamond tricks is five. Eh, so maybe I did the wrong thing in the auction here. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely could have been persuaded that I, I should be doubling. I, I mean, after all, I do have spade length. So... Hmm. Definitely a bit of a tricky spot. Um, well, I mean, this is probably going to be a pretty good result overall. So, yeah, we, we could have collected 500 against four spades doubled. This is, this is shocking. What was this auction? Hold on, where is the history here? <laughs> So partner opens a diamond. I like the bid, 10 high card points, 6-4 in the red suits. That makes a ton of sense. West over calls two clubs. 
I think it's an okay bid. Uh, some people might prefer three club jump shift. Weak-ish, although red against white, it tends to have some sort of values. So I kind of like the idea of preempting in clubs on this hand. The hand feels like it has almost no defense. I mean, the King of Hearts is not a great card. Queen 10, double 10 spades, not a great holding. Three small diamonds, obviously not good. You don't even have any certain tricks with King, Queen, Jack, 7th of clubs. One of the opponents could have a single to ace. So the hand feels a bit more preemptive to me than just a two club overcall, which might suggest some amount of defense. But I think two clubs is okay. I have a two hearts, and then two spades is wild by East. I, I don't really understand that bit at all. Our suit is quite poor. We don't really have a whole lot of safety in that, you know, let's suppose it goes double, for example, by south, pass, pass, because north has a penalty pass of two spades doubled. Ten double ton of clubs isn't like a great holding to run to for the, at the three level now. And yeah, the hand's just like incredibly weak. It really looks like this is the opponent's hand. I would very much like to just stay out of the auction, make sure I don't get doubled, especially at these colors, red on white. Um, yeah, so I, I do not like two spades. Um, <clears throat> and partner's three club choice is a little interesting. Uh, I, I wonder, so a lot of people play some sort of two-way cubids here. Um, <clears throat> where oftentimes the lower level cubid shows one fear trump. So partner could have done something like use three clubs to show a three card raise that has some extra values and three spades would show a four card raise with some extra values. All that does is allow me, North, to kind of better judge what um, what kind of fit we hold for the remainder of the auction. I mean, for example, if I hold a slam try, now maybe the Queen of Hearts is irrelevant if we have a 10 card fit. Um, but yeah, we're kind of an undiscussed partnership. I think I'm pretty happy with partner's three club bid. He was, I think, always going to game with the opponents bidding both black suits, him having shortness in both of those, and hearing me bid two hearts, showing at least a five card suit. Uh, West doubles three clubs, which I don't really like the choice. I think I think it just gives the opponents too much, too many options. Like here, I was able to pass the double to get a bit more info from my partner. Um, but yeah, oftentimes it's just not really helpful to double the opponents when they're having a forward-going auction like this because. It gives them room to explore other possibilities. They can now pass the double, um, or they can redouble, and these could have various meanings. Uh, but all right, so I passed an East bid three spades, and I I really don't like this bid. I mean, the two spade bid was already vastly overstating the power of East hand. The three spade bid definitely kind of furthers that problem. Well, we're on to the next set of boards. I wonder if we get uh, results. We do, so we're about average on the first two. We got a 100% on the next one. Yeah, no one was in spades, so I could have gotten 100% by actually cracking four spades, um, but not bad. We convinced them to double us because both opponents had been bidding as if they had way more values than they actually held. Pretty neat. Okay, this hand, I have a pretty obvious one spade opener, not much to say about this. We had two diamonds by east. I guess let's take a look at our opponents here. 
Uh, more U.S. players. I guess we're all from the U.S. Um, Burton bid four spades. He probably has diamond shortness, but this is a preemptive bid. He would have done a whole variety of other things if he did not have, if he had values. So I don't really see any reason to explore for a uh, slam, although and it kind of feels like we're off two aces, both minor suit aces. Like, I would tend to think partner often has a diamond void for this kind of auction, but I just don't have any way to explore. And kind of like I said, partner had alternatives to just jumping to four spades if he was interested in the slam. So even though I have what looks like a great hand for him, he might just have something like five small spades, king fifth of hearts, Stiff Diamond, Doubleton Club. So I, I am happy that I don't have to make a difficult choice over six diamonds, because <laughs> if the opponent's bid six diamonds, then we might still have a slam. Ah, he, he does have the Diamond Void, um, which I was a little concerned about. I think maybe if we were a more seasoned partnership, I would have... Um, I would have trusted this a bit more. Maybe the roughing with the two of spades was a bit of a, mis of a mistake there. Um, well, I'm in five spades, not six. So I think I'm gonna start with a spade to the ace or queen. Let's pretend as if I'm taking a finesse. And I'll cash the spade ace. Now I can unblock my hearts. And when the hearts are not 5-0, I do get to rough a diamond to the dummy or just play a spade to the dummy. It doesn't really matter. And run the hearts to claim all of the tricks. I wonder how that's going to score. I, I think it's going to be difficult for pairs to reach the to reach the slam. Uh, they might need some pretty solid methods to do so. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely was considering bidding, and I, I think, like I said, you tend to have a void in the opponent's suit if you indirect seat bid over them, five over five, that just happens to be the case, but I was not prepared to stake uh, our result on that judgment. I mean, if I bid six spades and we get to, um, and we get to a contract and they just cash the diamond ace and then cash the club ace, it's pretty upsetting. <laughs> so, and they're not going to find the wrong defense. Well, could have been a bit of a better result for us. And maybe Aaron will ridicule me after the round for not blasting the slam there. Oh ho ho! Well, things are getting exciting on this deal. So partner has what looks like the best hand at the table. I mean, one heart by east, he recalls two clubs, and west shows a limit raise and clubs. Um, I'm wondering if I'm supposed to just try four spades. Partner should have a stiff heart. And the fact that East didn't accept the limit raise might suggest that East has a, a club honor or two, in which case I could finesse through him. I think I'm going to try it. Why not? Why not? This could also just coerce them into saving in five hearts, which... At these colors, I mean, I'm not convinced I'm making four spades. I think there's probably a play. There's probably a play for it, but yeah. Here we are. Partner's Pass is forcing in this auction, but 
I have no reason to believe that I was making four spades, so I'm just gonna double five hearts. If the opponents have conned us on this one, so be it. I mean, I have no defense whatsoever. But okay, ace of clubs looks like a good lead for us. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe not after the king of clubs drops. <laughs> I think partner is going to be able to work out what's going on in the club suit, um, so he shouldn't read my two of clubs as like a suit preference signal or anything. Uh, oh my god, and wow, West has a game forcing hand opposite of one heart opener, and chose to just make a limit raise and then pass the hand out. I kind of understand that. I mean, the hand's four triple three, very flat. The queen of diamonds might not be a very useful card. Um. All right, partner leads the four of spades. I'm pretty comfortable dumping the king on this trick. I don't think Declare has jack third on this auction. So I want to make sure that partner knows what's going on in the spade suit. <clears throat> and that will let him know that he had all of Declare's high cards, basically. I mean, he, he probably already knew what was going on in the spade suit, but just in case he didn't. Okay, Declare is going to be taking a heart finesse, so my jack of hearts is going to promote to a trick. I will give upside down count and trumps. <clears throat> oh, partner has seven clubs. Okay, so partner has seven clubs, four spades, one heart, and one diamond? Uh oh. <laughs> that doesn't look great for our side. Um, hmm. So what does that mean? Well, I guess I'm going to play a spade. And my thinking is if Declare has the king of, if partner singleton diamond is the ace, Maybe Declare will try leading the King of Diamonds out of hand. And that way my Jack could set up for another defensive trick. So it looks like Declare's in and thinking. We have aha, one more. Well, this, this does not look like the <laughs> a, a great start for us. This kind of is suggesting that Declare has the Ace King of Diamonds. Yeah. Yep. So Declare was making the contract all along. Nothing we could have done about it. Yeah, I mean, the, the opponents burned us on this one, I think. <laughs> they were planning on playing in three hearts, it looked like. And then all of a sudden they tried bidding five hearts. That's tough. That's tough. Well, we gave one back. I don't know, maybe this was my fault. Maybe I should have not gone after five hearts. But... <laughs> It felt like partner had the best hand at the table. I don't know, we were red, they were white. Diamond, heart, I will bid a speed. That's five card speed suit, so I definitely get to overcall. Hmm, looking back at the hand. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what's going on from east-west here. I mean, west made a limit raise and east with 6-5 in the red suits didn't find a game bid. And west also didn't find a game bid over three hearts. Hmm. Oh well, I'll live and learn. All right, what's going on on this deal? A diamond by partner, a heart over call, a spade by me, two hearts by east. 
I think most people still play support doubles in this scenario, so I'm going to take that as a support double, showing three card spade support. And the reason is just that if this auction does get competitive, now I know how many trumps we have. So, all right. I'm not sure I'm making two spades, so I don't really see any reason to double three hearts. If partner reopens with a double, I think I'm going to sit for it, though. Okay, partner reopens with three spades, which probably suggests a singleton heart. I think that makes sense. <clears throat> and let's see how we do. Oh, partner had a doubleton heart. Wow, that's that feels a little ambitious. I probably would have passed out three hearts with his hand. But let's see how we do in this contract. So the heart lead is expected. Um, and they switch to clubs, sure. That makes sense. Yep. Ace, king, queen of clubs. Wow. What a club holding. Okay, well, I'm probably going to lose a diamond. But I suppose I can run my trumps and see what happens. I, mean, I, I don't expect anything good to happen, but no harm in trying it. Maybe one of the defenders gets spooked and thinks that I still have clubs remaining, or hurts remaining, I don't know. Um, yeah, nothing good is ever really going to come from this. <clears throat> so West should just be discarding both of their hearts on these two tricks. Okay. Well, looks like East probably had both the king and queen, ultimately. Yeah. Not much we could do about that one. Um, on defense, how do we do against... So that's the end of the round. I guess we can take a look at the this last board. Um, <clears throat> so against hearts, it looks like we have a heart trick, diamond trick, and two spade tricks. Wow, they appear to be making three hearts. I guess there's maybe a small question about what they do with the third round of spades. As long as they find a dummy entry, they can ditch one on the king, queen of diamonds. Huh. Okay, well, that... I guess that settles it. Looks like partner did well to save in three spades over three hearts. So good choice by partner on that one. Yeah, I'm still coming back to this hand and I'm not not really sure what uh what was supposed to go differently on this one. It felt like we got we got a bit scammed by the opponents. Both of them had much stronger hands than they had promised in the bidding. Not that you can always trust the opponent's auctions, but it felt to me like partner had showed a very strong hand. I mean, vulnerable, he came in with a two-level overcall, and then he came in with a double all on his own at the three-level, still vulnerable. So... Yeah, I jumped to four spades and five hearts by east. I mean, maybe I can read a little bit into his pass of five hearts, which might suggest that 
he thinks they could make it. I mean, like I said, I had no defense on this hand. I was absolutely counting on partner for all of the defensive tricks. Um, hmm. Very interesting. I, I wonder, I, I think if partner had bid three spades rather than double over three hearts, I probably wouldn't have been quite so eager to go after them in a in the final five heart contract. Because then I would know partner is very distributional with the black suits. He's not suggesting defense. Whereas his takeout double here kind of does suggest defense. Hmm. Again, we're not seasoned partnership. I'm not exactly sure what he might think. And then very first board, I do kind of feel bad, but I think after this set, if we talk and I say, hey, I think your five over five bid always shows a void or almost always shows a void in their suit. And he says, yep, I agree. Next time I'm gonna be jumping to six spades very fast on this sort of hand. Um, so I think that will resolve the question on this board. Now, East, of course, did not have to give us the option of reaching our slam. East could have just, and probably should have, just passed out four spades. But, okay. So that was that set. We have one minute on the round clock. And, oh, I, I guess we, so we do see our running total. We were 63% after the first round. I'm sure we're gonna drop a bit. You know, it, it never feels good to double them and have them make their contract at match points, especially in a weak field. In, in a stronger field, sometimes you'll see a bunch of pushes at like four spades doubled making, or five hearts doubled making. That does tend to happen, but in weak fields, Players don't double often enough, um, and I think they get a little bit scared based on kind of these sorts of results. You know, they double and then it makes, and so they're afraid of doubling again. Uh, well, ultimately, we fell a bit, but board five was kind of the main culprit. I'm surprised board six scored so poorly. Okay, one club by partner. I have a strong hand. We've had a lot of strong hands in this segment. Uh, sorry, just checking out the opponent's card here. I wonder what we play as a defense to one no trump. <laughs> Maybe that would have been something good to discuss. Uh, could we have a slam? Maybe. Am I going to go looking for it? I don't think so. I don't think that the possibility that partner has the perfect fitting hand for me over there with, say, nothing in clubs, ace, double, ten of diamonds, um, and whatever else he holds is worth giving the opponents more information about what to lead. So, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. <clears throat> okay. Ace of hearts lead, huh? That feels like a great lead for the defense, so this is already a bit upsetting. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, two of hearts, they're playing upside down. Another heart's gonna come, and so I do get to pop up with the heart king. But unfortunately, <laughs> this just means the queen of hearts is set up. And now... Uh, I have a club, a heart, and a spade to lose. If east... Does, if West holds the club ace, now they have 
done very well to set up their heart trick before I could set up dummies clubs to discard my heart. Gross. Well, I, I, I don't really see anything else to do. I'm, I'm going to cash the Ace King of Spades. I mean, East is more likely to be short than West. So we'll start with this. And then what? I think I'm going to try and lead a club towards the queen. Uh, and see, I mean, West might have a difficult choice. Um, ah, East had the ace of clubs, so we, we're safe. Um, they can't cash heart because East has led from ace double to nine of hearts. And now I just get to kind of cross rough, basically, use, use my club trick to ditch my heart loser. I could claim, but I think I'm just going to wait for the opponents to return a card, and now I get to claim the rest. So ultimately, East opening lead did not help, but it did put me in for a bit of a scare on that one. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't like East's opening heart lead. I think I would have led a diamond, but they wanted an explanation on my claim. Okay, on to the next deal. Uh, yeah, I mean, leading leading away from an ace oftentimes is very bad. It, it works out very well in this deal, but even when it was the best opening lead, it removed any heart guess that I had, and then East wasn't able to get his partner in to cash the heart queen anyway. So, even when it worked out almost perfectly for the defenders, uh, it didn't gain them any tricks. Okay, this is kind of nice. I get to raise partners one spade on three card support. And I'm going to do this because I have a singleton. I might do it if I was 6-3-2-2 anyway, but my hearts are just so weak that this hand is always going to play better in spades. I don't think Aaron and I have any convincing... Um, sort of like two no trump bid to ask and find out if I have a three card, three card support. So we might wind up in a four three fit, um, but I think I'm okay with ending up in a four three fit. I have very strong trumps, so if he has something like queen jack ten fourth, even we should be pretty happy in this contract. Five diamonds. I'm going to pass, and I'm assuming that we're in a force. <laughs> I could be wrong about this, but yeah, so I, I think my pass suggested extra offense, and I don't have great spade length for this pass, but my singleton diamond and all of my key cards does kind of suggest that maybe offense is going to work better for us. Um, okay, king of hearts lead. I'm going to signal for the suit that I want him to lead, which is spades. But I, I will be getting in with the diamond ace, so I expect this to be a singleton. At least I'm hoping it's a singleton. Uh, 
And so a partner should be working out that this is suit preference. And I'm kind of carefully watching declare a spot that is notably the lowest outstanding spot against a weaker pair, which I think this pair is. They tend to just always follow with their lowest spot cards. So if East had played something like the Jack or 10 on this trick, I would be more likely to believe that partner held the doubleton king of hearts. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to play him for the singleton king. Oh, he has the jack of hearts. Okay. So, king jack doubleton. Seems fine. Declare, it seems, as it is just trying to cross back to hand to maybe take some sort of finesse. And I don't think partner expected that trick to cash. <laughs> so... <clears throat> so I think partner's going to be pleasantly surprised about that for the defensive assets on this deal. Okay, declare roughs in with the diamond queen. Partner gets to throw a club and plays a diamond up. I do get to win the ace. And I'm not sure I have a great plan at this point, but I'll try the spade ace. I do not think this card is caching. Oh, it is. Well, that's exciting. That's good to know. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's just play another spade. <laughs> I don't think I'm missing anything here. I mean, it feels like we've gotten all we can at this point, but I guess I will know in a minute. Yeah. Five hundred, not bad. How were we doing in four spades? Well, let's see. It's actually my turn. I don't think I have enough to open. So, how were we doing in a four spade contract? We have two heart losers, a club loser, maybe a spade loser. Yeah, it really looks like we were not doing all that well in four spades. Maybe partner could have made it. I suppose double dummy. He probably can. Um, but quite happy that he didn't have to struggle through that one. All right, a spade, two hearts, two spades. Uh, I believe three clubs is fit showing here. Uh, actually, four clubs should be fit showing, and maybe I should try that. It looks like the opponents might be bidding, might be on their way to a four spade contract, so I do want to kind of clue partner in. Um, So, yeah, let's try it. And I will alert. I think the opponents here would appreciate the alerts, so happy to do that. I don't think this is necessarily alertable in the ACBL, but I tend to do it as a courtesy to most pairs as long as they're not being jackasses at the table. Um, So it looks like partner got the got the memo. And wow. This sold out. That is a little surprising to me, but I'm kind of into it. And it looks like this contract has some play. So that's good to know. We have a spade loser, a diamond loser, and a heart loser off the top. Partner's going to have a lot of work to do, but I think he's going to be pretty happy with the way these first couple tricks have gone. Now both his king and queen of spades are set up for potential discards. Or sorry, I mean just the king of spades is set up for a discard, but 
he can unblock the queen. And now the opponents have allowed him to start roughing some diamonds in the dummy. Hmm. This could come down to a cross rough where he might need east to hold short clubs so that he can be constantly leading clubs through east, over roughing, and then roughing diamonds to get back to the dummy. That's possible. And he's going to have to kind of carefully watch what's going on in the club suit here. I mean, east switching to a club is a little suspicious, but we'll see how he handles it. I'm sure he is more than capable of finding a sensible line of play. So both of these black suit kings provide discards, then he will need to rough one more diamond in the dummy. Okay, it, it does kind of look like East might have started with, ah, uh, that's not a good sign. <gasps> oh, maybe it is a good sign, hold on. I was going to say it looked like East had started with a four-card club suit, given that he returned a high one, played a low one, and then followed on the third round. But, okay. Well, no, oh, <laughs> the hearts do not break. What a shame, what a shame. So one down. Were the opponents going to sell out to three hearts, I wonder? I mean, it looks like they make three spades. They are going to lose a spade and three clubs, but that's it. Uh, so four hearts is a good save over three spades in that respect. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't expect East to sell out to three hearts. Like, had I just raised to three hearts, East probably should be taking a three spade bid with a singleton at match points at least. But maybe we could have got out for plus 140 in three hearts, which would have been a pretty huge result, I think. So how do we do on this set overall? Let's see, how much time do we have? Three minutes on the round clock to take a look over the boards. Uh, first board feels like a pretty normal result, unfortunately, despite the scary opening lead from the Ace of Hearts. Um, next board, this looks like a monstrous result for us. There's not even any guarantee Four Spades was making. And I guess Four Hearts probably does make actually our direction with the Ten of Hearts coming down Doubleton and the ace queen of clubs being on side, so it needs a lot of help, but this does look like a pretty strong result for us in five diamonds. And four hearts, one down is probably okay. I mean, I'm not sure that we won't have a lot of company, but maybe there was a better way to defend on this hand. I could definitely see that being the case. And it looks like partner took as many tricks as he possibly could. He got rid of all of his diamond losers, and it was just because of the 4-1 trump split at the end that he was unable to make the contract. So, yeah, I, I would expect us to move up after this set. I suppose we'll see in about a minute's time. I wonder what partner thinks of my four club bid. I mean, you know, he probably would prefer a fourth heart for this kind of action. Maybe five clubs or six clubs and four hearts would be nor more normal. But I just looked at the colors. We were white on red. Um, so I kind of thought that the fit showing jump was appropriate. I did have a singleton. Now, if the opponents were bidding to four spades, he could take a look at his hand and say, maybe four spades is going down because I have short clubs, maybe four spades is making, and I have a double fit with partner, so then 
we can take the push to five hearts as a good sacrifice. Um, yeah, I guess I would be curious to hear his thoughts. I know Aaron is a bit of a bidding, what's the savant? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but he he's an exceptionally good bidder and he has a lot of really, really solid ideas about how to handle a whole variety of different hands. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if he says, absolutely don't make a pitch showing jump here unless you have 10 cards in the two suits. Uh, okay, so how do we end up? We're now back up to 62. Yeah, we got some pretty strong results there. Board seven's a little shocking to me. I would expect every table to get to game and feels hard to lose more than <laughs> two tricks, but that's pretty cool for our side. Okay, round four of six. Oh wow, this is a long event. I guess I knew that going in already, right? <clears throat> so West opens a preemptive two spade bid. Let's take a look at our opponents a little bit. And we have a six card diamond suit. I don't have heart support, so I can't make a takeout double. Three diamonds is kind of the only call I can make. Uh, what a two spade bid. I'm wondering if that's a seven card suit, actually. It easily could be. I, I, yeah, I think it easily could be a seven card suit. Huh. I, I mean, just given that dummy has the ace, king, queen of spades. Well, that does not bode well for our side if it really is a seven card suit. I think my plan on this deal is going to be to try and end play east into giving me a club finesse. So I'm not going to take the club finesse, I'm just going to go after the diamond suit. I will lead a diamond to the jack, I think. Okay, west pops up with the ace. And will West give his partner spade rough? That is the question. Ah, we get a heart through. Okay. Now, I get to cash the Diamond King. It'd be amazing if the Queen dropped. That would just be too good to be true, though. Okay. West ditches the spade seven. So now... I think I'm going to try a spade. Ah, West only had a six card suit, but West did have a singleton, which makes some sense. And I expect East to rough in, probably try and cash a heart trick here, which is not to be. Uh, let's exit a diamond. Again, my plan here is to try and end play East into giving me a club finesse. <clears throat> so that's three rounds of hearts. It's maybe a bit too much to try and cash the diamond nine but I don't think I have anything to lose. And we'll see what the opponents end up doing in terms of discarding. West ditches the spade jack, sure. I'm gonna exit a club. No. Too bad. Too bad. Oh, the Club King was on side. Does make some sense. I mean, West probably needed a little something for the preempt. 
Well, I'm sure partner was a little disappointed I didn't try a takeout double here. He would have been eager to pass that one. Okay, not so bad. I don't think there was much I could have done about that deal. On to the next one. We get to open a club. Unfortunately, in ACBL land, I can't open this one no trump. So I just have to deal with my one club opener. Partner bids a spade. I'm going to rebid two diamonds, I guess. <laughs> I, I, just, I hate these hands. They're so much easier if I can just open the hand one no trump. <clears throat> but okay, we will reverse. I, this is not a bad hand. It's just when partner bids a spade, I don't have like a great, a great way forward. Um, I'm not sure if Aaron and I play some sort of like two hearts is weak sort of thing. So maybe I should try three no just to cover all my bases. And I'm gonna take the conservative route, I'm gonna pass. Even if partner was intending this as strong, my hand is just so bad, at least for the auction. And yeah, partner may well have been intending this as a, as a real hand, but I'm kind of happy that we're not in three no trump on this one. Although maybe that depends on whether the queen of hearts holds trick one, it does not. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to do about this deal? I guess I'm going to start off by roughing a diamond in the dummy. This could easily be wrong. I mean, I, I might be opening the door for someone to rough in with the jack of clubs. But if East roughs in with the Jack of Clubs, I do get to ditch my Heart Loser, so. So far, so good. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think I can no, I can still take a spade finesse if I want, which I, I kind of do want to do. So I'm going to lead a heart now. Plan on roughing a heart and a diamond in the dummy if they let me. Their best defense is going to be play ace of clubs in a club, which will prevent one of my roughs. But then I can take a spade finesse for the extra over trick. <clears throat> yep, this looks like the defense that West should be attempting. And how did I do? Looks pretty good. Yeah, so West had turned up with quite a few high cards. Um, so the Spade King was likely to be on side. I wonder how that's going to score. I mean, it looks like we have two spades, two diamonds, four clubs, and a heart in no trump if we're allowed to take all of our tricks. And the hearts can be blocked. I mean, not blocked, but um, kind of isolated. That's the word I'm looking for, isolated in East's hand. I, I mean, 
three note does not look like a great contract. I'll say that at the get go. Like you need the clubs to come home and you need the spade finesse to work and you need the hearts to not be set up poorly. I mean, if the, if the king of hearts is on side, three now looks a little better, but I'm pretty happy that we did not wind up in three now trump, I think. Okay, on this one I make a takeout double. I'm the one with short hearts, so I kind of need to be the one to bid. I do have spades and diamond support, at least. And, you know, if partner had bid three clubs, so be it. But good luck, partner. Last board of round four. That is a fascinating opening lead. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, th this looks downright awful for our side, I think. <laughs> Um, it looks like West got off to an exceptionally good opening lead, unfortunately. I do approve of partner's three no bid. I mean, he has a heart stopper and what looks like it might be seven tricks. I mean, all he needs from me is the club king and like an ace and West to lead a heart. So, I think I like the choice. It may not work out well on this deal, but... <clears throat> okay. Looks like partner does get to take the club finesse at least now and get out for maybe down one. Although this could depend on how the opponents discard. Very strange to not cover with the King of Clubs from King Doubleton. I mean, Claire's certainly taking a finesse there. What if your partner had Jack, Jack Doubleton? That would be a little bad. Okay, so a partner is going to run his clubs and probably exit a diamond, hoping that West, for example, will keep uh, the Ace Queen of Hearts and say the Ace of Diamonds. Um, Seems a bit unlikely that West has all of those cards for the two heart opener. <clears throat> but we will see. We'll see how the hand plays out. Yeah, I was kind of going to say that maybe partner's nine of hearts play it was a bit less than ideal on this one. But... Because if he'd put in the jack, he would then have a heart trick set up, and then the opponents could actually have conceded the contract if they continued spades as they did. But what do we see? Ace of diamonds and a diamond. Well done, partner. Well done. Uh, yeah, I, I think West made a large number of mistakes on the defense. After seeing partner show out in spades, West knows exactly what's going on in that suit and can just retain the red aces and a spade towards the end of the hand. Then they know they'll be able to win whichever red suit partner plays and lead a spade to their partner's winners. And similarly, East can do the same. East also knows the entire spade distribution around the table, so they'll be able to retain all of their spades, ditch all of their hearts and diamonds, and defeat the contract. So that's probably going to be a pretty good result, because even on what might seem like a more normal heart opening lead, the contract has almost no play. Like, when a low heart goes to the queen and king, for the contract to make, 
we would need to sneak a spade trick and take the club finesse. Or, you know, not on a double dummy layout, we would need to cash the ace of clubs and find a singleton king somewhere. Both of those are very unlikely to happen. So this looks like a pretty strong result for us. What were some of the other boards? Yeah, this one, I'm not sure. At teams, I would not have done what I did, but just because this is match points, I'm fairly comfortable just playing in a part score. I noted that partner was a passed hand, so he probably has is maximized at about 10 high card points, maybe 11. Uh, I wasn't fitting with his spades at all, and I didn't like the ace nine third of hearts as a stopper. If it was ace 10 third, I might have been more comfortable trying three no trump, then any honor from partner would actually have been good enough to provide me two stoppers in the suit. So I could see some pairs getting to three no and making. I could see pairs getting to three no and going down. I could see pairs also playing in a club part score and taking fewer tricks than I did. Um, I could see pairs getting to club part score and taking the same number of tricks as I did. All of these things are possible. I also don't really think I played that hand very well. Ultimately, I probably should have ducked the opening heart lead. But in the end, it didn't really cost me. And the very first deal, yeah, I kind of feel bad about this one, but there wasn't really anything I could have done. The spade opening lead is very strange, I think, from East, holding a king, queen, jack, fourth, and a side suit. I think this is one of those things that newer players are taught, well, you want to lead your shortness against a suit contract because you could get a rough. But East is looking at two natural trump tricks, the queen, ten, eight, fourth, sitting behind my three diamond bid. So we don't want to be looking for a rough when we're going to be roughing with our natural trump tricks. We instead want to be setting up tricks for our side and possibly tapping declare out where we can then control the trump suit. We might have more trumps than declare towards the end of the hand, and then we'll be able to run winners that we've set up. So I don't really like the opening spade lead on this one, but again, it looks like not much could have been done on this deal. I suppose I could have taken a club finesse at some point in the hand. <clears throat> would that have been enough? I would take two spades, uh, three diamonds, two clubs, and a heart. That's still only eight tricks. I would need to somehow end play East in diamonds, which it, it just doesn't look like is very easy to do. East can always overrough the third round of spades. Yeah, I'm not sure that there was a whole lot I could have done on this deal um, to give myself a real chance of making the contract. Oh well, on to the very last board, and yikes, three diamonds down one was not a good result. Three clubs making 11 tricks, a bit above average, so that probably means a lot of pairs bid and made three no, and we get 100 on the last board, so we're still at around 62, looks like that's kind of where we stand. Um, just have a pretty normal 15 to 17 no trump here, let's take a look at our opponents. Convention cards. Okay. Oh, this is not the last round. Round five of six. Jeez, these tournaments drag on forever, don't they? I know that Aaron is, in general, a very fast player, so I'm sure that he's bored out of his mind right now, playing these six, six minutes of board for the rounds. Two hearts. Double by West. Uh, I'm going to pass. I do not have a heart stopper. So this is a convenient way where now we're able to right side the spade contract. Partner gets to bid two spades and declare two spades from his side, which is going to make West look very foolish for <laughs> doubling two hearts because now, now West will have to be le leading. 
I mean, West could easily have something like Ace King, Fifth of Hearts, or King Queen Jack, Fifth of Hearts, and we'll be able to lead a heart anyway. But if West has something like King Jack, Ten, Fourth of Hearts, or whatever it could be, then West is going to have a difficulty, some difficulty finding the correct lead. So, kind of cool. In a lot of my partnerships, I would say we would have wrong-sided the contract. I <laughs> do tend to take a lot of tricks on my own. Um, but, yeah, here, kind of the power of this pass over the double. Whenever someone makes a lead-directing double, you just get to pass for um, to right-side the contract sometimes, and now West was not comfortable leading whatever his heart holding was, so we end up not losing too many heart tricks. And West also did not find a diamond lead. West led a club, which means that partner gets to ditch some of his heart losers. How many of them is the question? Uh, that's it. Looks like the clubs were 5-2 from the opponents. Not that surprising, given the opening lead. Well, let's see if West is going to be brave enough to lead hearts now. Because if West now breaks the diamond suit, that could be even more beneficial to our side. And something East should have been doing here, I was not following the spots and clubs very carefully, um, is East should be giving suit preference to his partner on the run of clubs. East knows that West is going to be roughing in, so should be signaling, please don't lead diamonds, please lead the heart suit that you promised. All right. <clears throat> well, I wonder if partner was considering discarding on that trick. Ooh, the Queen of Diamonds. I'm interested to know what that's about. Okay, Jack of Hearts, sure. And partner does get to rough this. Yep, Nine of Diamonds looks excellent. It, it does kind of feel like East had started with King-10 Doubleton. Oh, maybe partner actually had a count on this hand. So he started with three spades, five clubs, three hearts, and therefore exactly two diamonds. Awesome. Well done, partner. Yeah, so partner took the correct, or the best line of play in the diamond suit, and now he's actually going to make his contract, which is pretty neat, right? Um... <clears throat> So yeah, really cool. Very well played. So I think we did a lot of really nice things in both the bidding and the play here. The ability where I can pass to deny a stopper, I mean, I guess this should be alertable. We hadn't discussed it though, so it wasn't like this was some sort of unwritten agreement that we had. I think it's just expert standard that and the reason is that we want to right side these contracts. I mean, partner could have had king third of hearts over there, in which case we would absolutely want him to be the declarer. But then West had a difficult choice of opening lead, couldn't lead his hearts anymore, so try to club. And that let partner pull a couple of trumps and then start running clubs to ditch his losers. And then ultimately partner found a really nice play in the diamond suit, he was counting the hand. That's always a good thing to do. And it worked out that he could actually force an entry to the dummy to reach the stranded jack of clubs as well as set up a diamond trick. Uh, so ultimately, I mean, pretty awesome all around. And we scored plus 110, which should be a good result. Where are we standing? We're still at our 62% as we have been for a while now. Okay. Um, well, I have a good hand, but I'm in fourth seat, 
So I kind of expect some sort of opposition bidding. If West preempts in diamonds, I'm probably going to start with a takeout double. If West just opens diamonds, oh, two spades. Well, in that case, I guess I should bid three clubs. Double doesn't really show my hand. I mean, it might find us a heart fit, but more likely partner's going to have diamonds over there and is going to get really excited with something like queen 10 sixth and he'll think that that's a good suit to be playing in. All right, this should be a responsive double, so I'm going to bid four hearts. Uh, by that, I mean partner should be showing the other major and some values. <clears throat> okay. Well, partner does have four hearts. So how do I feel about this hand? West is the spade preemptor. Um, hmm. I probably have a club to lose. I probably have two hearts to lose, and hopefully that's it. So I think I want to do something like rough a spade in the dummy and lead a heart to the nine? No, that doesn't make any sense. Rough a spade in the dummy, play the ace of diamonds pitching a spade, and then lead a heart to the nine? Well, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing on this deal. Hmm. Rough a spade and dummy, ace of diamonds, heart to the nine. I pick up a honor doubleton with west. I need to be a little careful though about what's going on. Um, in the, I mean on, on this hand because I could easily get tapped out. Okay, that's not super great for me. That does kind of feel like hearts might be 4-1. Definitely not great. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this, this really looks like I'm getting tapped out at this point, unfortunately. So, all right. What does that mean then? I guess it does mean I probably need the club finesse to be working. So let's try it. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to be down one on this one. Unfortunately, the trumps did not split well enough for us. I mean, fortunately, partners queen, jack of diamonds are just good enough that I'm protected from diamond forces. Otherwise, I would be down a whole lot more. But, oh well, oh well. Yeah, I don't think we could have done a whole lot better on this deal, unfortunately. <clears throat> yep, East gets to rough in, but now returns a diamond. I will pull the last trump and claim with my good clubs. Unfortunate. 
Yeah, I'm not sure that there was much I could have done about that. Nope. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, on to the last board of the penultimate round. I always feel like these dots are passive aggressive. I mean, I understand this is a bit of a speedball, but, um, and maybe I spent a little too much time thinking at trick one. But I'll give Wes the benefit of the doubt. I mean, sometimes you just want to find out if you're disconnected. So you type something small into the chat box, and if it shows up on screen, then you're pretty happy. I will support my partner's clubs. I do not have negative double available, so this is the best that I can offer. Looks like it's the opponent's hand. <laughs> I don't have much. I mean, I have eight high card points. Partner has an opener, but we're red and partner can't do anything over two clubs. Like, even give some sort of three club raise. So I would not at all be surprised if West balanced with two hearts or double or two spades. And we'll see where this takes us. All right, let's lead the queen of clubs. Ooh. So at first glance, I'm wondering if the opponents have missed a game. I, I mean, there's no guarantee. West doesn't need to have a strong hand, uh, and dummy is four triple three. But the spade finesse is working. A diamond finesse, if necessary, will be working for them. And maybe East should have done something like try three spade raise. What'll happen at trick one? Queen a six two. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and suggest leading hearts. Let partner know that I have some stuff in the heart suit by playing high, low, and spades. Hmm. It looks like we have a clubbed cash, though, which is. Um, which is definitely something to keep in mind. Maybe I should have counted out partner's hand before ditching this heart. Wow, West balanced with a five card spade suit, two spades. I think it, it, it seems as if double would have been more prudent, but I don't know what West's hand looked like. And actually, if West had doubled, East may well have passed with four clubs. All right, let's cash a club. Oh, we aren't cashing a club, cool. But I am happy about not ditching a diamond. I mean, it looks like it just didn't matter um, on this hand. But earlier, I, holding on to the four card diamond suit, it did feel like it was possible West had four diamonds. So, all right. Pulling declares last trump. And now I get to cash the ten of clubs. Hooray! Oh, partner had the ace king of hearts. <laughs> That's kind of exciting. So we could have cashed out maybe a bit more quickly. Oh, that's okay. 
the partner called the director. I'm not exactly sure what what's going on, but it, he's probably just a little suspicious. I mean, West overcalled a spade and then balanced with two spades on nothing more than the original overcall. Like I said, I think I would make a takeout double with West's hand, um, but I do kind of understand the the reason why West wouldn't want to is that normally you might end up in a 4-3 heart fit after doing this, but a 4-3 heart fit's not so bad. So yeah, it's a little a little strange that West balances in with two spades and yeah, it's true. West catches East with a perfect hand with a bunch of spade support. Um, I mean, East could easily hold something like a singleton spade on this kind of auction, in which case West would be in real hot water for this action. But this time West did get lucky. So maybe partners just kind of recording this that something strange happened with the opponent's auction and um, he wants to put it on record in case this becomes a pattern that they frequently balance with no extra values and no extra distribution, and they catch their partner with an enormous hand. Then something shady could be going on, but this is just the proper procedure. You call the director, send a little report, and we are still sitting at exactly 62.2%. I wonder if this is bugged or if that's actually the average of these numbers. Could be. Well, four hearts down one was not great. Two hearts making was amazing. And then two spades making exactly two was apparently good. Oh, I guess my hand probably ditched a diamond at some point. That makes sense. So I, I was kind of rewarded for pitching a heart as opposed to a diamond. All right, three passes to a diamond from partner. I was going to bid a heart, but now I think I'm going to try and get partner to reopen with a double, and I'm going to sit for it. <clears throat> Am I gonna sit for it? think so? I mean, we have a spade fit. Ah, no, no guts, no glory, right? Yeah, let's go after them. Why not? <laughs> Holy cow. The opponents catch each other with such strong dummies all the time. Diamond to the Jack winning the first trick. Okay. I, I feel you. So I'm only hoping to take seven tricks against this contract. Um, we probably are making two spades. I mean, this would go a lot better if partner only had three spades, <laughs> but you can only be so hopeful. I, I was, of course, not hoping that East was showing up with a heart honor. Okay, six of spades switch, sure. Um, I'll try the ten of spades back. So am I popping up with the heart jack if Declare leads one? Oh, looks like partner probably did have three spades. Hmm. Okay, now he plays the king of diamonds to the ace. Sure. And I don't think I can afford to pop up with the heart jack. Maybe I can. Partner has king, queen, jack of diamonds, ace of spades, king of clubs. Um, I 
Hmm. I, I might have to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this to kind of protect my trump length. And I do have basically all of the right spots where I am going to be able to overrough declare on all of these. All right, now, now I'm pretty happy with what's going on. It feels like declare has misplayed this hand a little bit towards the end here. I mean, leading a third diamond and then a fourth diamond. I think I should rough this. I think I should switch to a club. And I'm gonna get another heart trick. But that will be the end of it. Declare has the Knight of Hearts, which is a winner, and the uh, King of Hearts, which is a winner. Okay, two down. Solid result for our side. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I did the right thing there. I, I think I could be... I think I could be convinced that I made a bad pass on this hand. But it definitely worked out this time. And one of the things that I will say is that, especially in weaker fields, I find it very productive to just defend on a lot of hands, especially doubled, and try and just take all of your tricks. Oftentimes, that's a good way to a reasonable match point score. What is this hand? I don't think I'm sacrificing in four hearts. Am I? No. I'm just gonna lead the ace of hearts. They probably have a diamond fit and they expect um, they expect a spade lead. Well, I mean, this seems positive to me. Now, now it kind of sounds like partner has clubs, uh, but I'm going to start by cashing the ace king of hearts. Yeah, I mean, partner's double suggests not leading spades. Don't worry, partner, I already had that under control. <laughs> we 100% were not leading spades on this one. Uh, wow, East does not have a very good hand for the three diamond preempt. That is not particularly surprising, given West's eagerness to jump to three now. <clears throat> so I think my plan is to play Ace King of Hearts and another heart. And partner's gonna be very surprised when I turn up with a five card suit. And I'm going to ask for a club back. So even if Declare has the A heart trick, the ace of clubs, and all of the diamonds, which I don't expect, I think partner has some of those cards, probably even something like queen fourth of diamonds, then that's only eight tricks. Um, and if Declare doesn't have as much as that, then a club back from partner would actually set up a bunch of extra tricks for our side, the King of Clubs, as well as the Ace of Spades, to go with all of my hearts. And I mean, maybe I could have um, done something like not gone after uh, the heart suit, but I think this is most prudent. Wow, Declare is ditching a diamond from the dummy. That can't be good for his side. 
10 of clubs. I will win the king. And I'm going to start cashing some hearts. So I can cash three tricks to beat this three, which seems like a positive thing to do. Declares throwing diamonds. I feel like I just have to cash the spade ace, though, unfortunately. Um, like, leading a club back doesn't really help immediately because I can still get thrown in in spades. So here we go. So how are we doing in hearts on this deal? It looks like we have a... I guess partner had the diamond ace, which might go to bed here. He can discard it, right? I don't know. I have not been paying attention, so this is not my problem. Um, good. He held on to the diamond ace. <laughs> Good defense partner. Um, yeah, we can pick up the hearts for no losers. So, we, <laughs> you know, I just realized that the same player has gotten doubled twice in a row. Maybe they'll go for third times the charm. <laughs> I get the sense that some opponents learn after a certain number of rounds where they've just been getting doubled and doubled and going for enormous penalties on all the hands that they learn to be a bit more conservative on some auctions. But I don't think we're going to be doubling them on this hand, unless they end up in seven clubs. And even then, I might not double them, because <laughs> they could run to seven diamonds or seven now. But yeah, taking a look at the last hand, so we have no heart losers, we have a spade loser, Wow, it looks like we may, oh, we, we do have a heart loser. Never mind, I'm, I'm crazy. But we lose a heart, a spade, and a club. Four hearts actually makes. So partner did very well to double, in fact. That's crazy to me. I, maybe I should have thought harder and actually bid four hearts over three now. It, I know that some players tend to use three now there as a preempt of sorts. Um, anyway, let's kind of get involved in this next hand. A diamond, two diamonds. I wonder if that is, I suppose I could ask. Um, let's take a look. Venezuela and USA. Well, I could lead a heart. Queen Jack third, I think is reasonable. I could lead a low club, which is oftentimes a little scary. I'm gonna try a heart. Hmm. Well, not sure how I feel about the heart opening lead. <laughs> Obviously, if West has ace ten nine. This did not go well. And it looks like a low club would have actually worked out. Okay, partner signals the nine, so he does have the eight, which lets me know that it's obviously safe to cover the second round of hearts. But yeah, it looks like a club opening lead would have worked out a little better for our side. Although it might not matter. I think this is just going to make the defense a little trickier. So partner gives a discouraging club signal. I'm going to continue ditching clubs. And what does Declare showed up with? The... Heart ace, the diamond ace, probably interesting. I was supposed to ditch the club king on that. This is fine, though.
Hmm. I, I feel like Declare is just cashing out at this point. Yeah, this this seems like what's going on. Okay, and I get to claim the last two tricks. So yeah, Declare just had nine tricks off the top. Nothing we can do to prevent that. Okay, so I guess that was the tournament. I mean, I feel pretty good about board 16 and 17, of course. Board 18, what does it look like happened? Uh, not great for our side, honestly. They have nine tricks because the diamonds come in, but they only have 23 highs between them. So I think some tables are definitely going to miss game. So ultimately we could get another 62% round and end up exactly where we've been the entire time. Looking back, let's see. Oh. Is everything frozen? I clicked play and now I'm just on a completely blank white screen. What did I do? Hello? <laughs> did I did I break something? Oh my god. Okay, well I, I will deal with that in a minute, but I was gonna say hopefully we can just check out the final scores ultimately. Oh, maybe I can click on other tables to see what's going on. Yeah, a lot of tables have missed game. One pair played in five diamonds instead of three no. It's exciting. I expect both of these to be tops. Yeah, a couple of pairs did actually reach... Oh, this is insane. I, I didn't actually look at what West's hand was for the three no trump bid. I mean, what was West thinking? Unless they play the, that the jump shift is like intermediate, in which case East must have forgotten their agreement. But yeah, I mean, we, what is West expecting his partner to have? A 15 count over there? I don't, I don't know about this bid. That seems suspect. Um, and then board 16. We, <laughs> this is actually funny. We pushed with a table who was doubled one level higher. Loading data, please wait. I, maybe something's just going on with the tournament overall where there, <laughs> I just have this this blank white screen and I don't know what to do about it. Well, uh, were there any other hands that were worth taking a second look at? I mean, this hand was a huge disaster for us. What happened at some of the other tables? <clears throat> Five hearts undoubled, so the double only cost about a third of a board. Um, yeah, it looks like five space. Oh, Jesus. Loading data. Five spades might have been a good sacrifice over five hearts, but we were already just in trouble when the opponents bid all the way to five hearts on this one, I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's going to conclude the tournament. I, I think I should wait around, so I'll, I'll leave this up for a minute. Hopefully, the. Into how do I get back to the... <laughs> why Why am I just looking at a blank screen? Let's see, can I... Can I reload? And log in? Um, where was I? Complete ACBL tournaments, running ACBL tournaments, here we are. Okay, back into the event. Let's... Oh. One more table to go. Five kibitzers. Oh, you're allowed to kibitz. That's kind of exciting. I didn't realize that you were allowed to kibitz in these things. Can I just jump in? Very cool. Okay, last last table. No tables found. Do we get results? We get a pop-up to look at tournament results. Oh, we dropped in the last round. No. Oh, no. But ultimately, just shy of 60%, 20th out of 220. 
And how was our last round? I mean, 200% and then we got a zero? Wait, we got a zero? No way. We got a zero, or close enough to a zero. Holy cow. Yeah, I, I was worried. The opponents only had 23 highs, so it looks like they really pulled a fast one on us. Um, but this should have been like a 60-some percent round. Feels kind of weird that we would have dropped. Maybe some of the other boards got adjusted or something in other sections. Uh, okay, well that was the tournament. I mean, kind of a disappointing overall finish, but we picked up, I think it was, where was it? 0.98 ACBL Master Points. Awesome. Very awesome. Well, thank you, Aaron, for playing. I enjoyed. Uh, it was nice to have Five Hearts double make for both sides, albeit on separate boards. And thanks everyone for watching. See you again soon.